everyone so we took a six hour flight from Dayton to Glacier International Airport we had a layover at Chicago um, the ride went quite smooth as our toddler slept during most of our second flight which, which was the longest for us uh, we packed a lot of thorax wipes so we could uh, wipe down the high touch areas my toddler was all around the window seat um, so the, we had to wipe down the window the belt buckles tray tables the front seat and a lot of other places so it was quite exciting uh, to be on a flight after a very long time i think my toddler enjoyed her flight as well um, the ride, uh, the ride went quite uh, smoothly, and as we landed at Glacier International Airport, the airport staff were quite friendly. They helped us out as they could. Uh, my husband was able to pick up the stroller, but I was able to carry her uh, to the airport. She was kind of grumpy, but as we entered the airport, she kind of felt um, okay. And uh, from the airport, we got a rental and we drove straight to our hotel in Whitefish. Our, ho our hotel was Town Place Suites. Uh, as I said, it was in Whitefish and it was just 15 minutes away from the airport. So it was kind of convenient for us uh, to be at this hotel. Uh, the hotel staff, uh, everyone in Montana are quite friendly and we really enjoyed uh, talking to the people around there. So um, a little facts about going to uh, on the road, on going to the Sun Road. Uh, be sure to secure your passes before heading to the park. We were able to get the park pass but not the going to the Sun Road ticket. So, but luckily we were able to get boat passes, uh, and the boat pass actually lets you uh, enter uh, the park. Even though if you have the park pass, you won't be able to go through the going to the Sun Road. So you need to have the boat park pass and the going to Sun Road ticket. So, but if you have a, a boat ride ticket, it will secure you a, a pass to go to the going to Sun Road.